You are listening to Practical and Woo by Mindset and Manifest. My name is Eden, and I invite you to embark on a journey with me to explore the practical and spiritual edges of the unknown for the purpose of allowing you to embody and empower yourself uniquely as you are and to intentionally create and live a life of freedom and fulfillment. Each week, I'm going to discuss topics such as energetics, reality creation, manifestation, astrology, tarot, and more to help empower you to live beyond perceived limitations and to practically design your life so it feels like absolute magic every step of the way. Let's dive in. Well, hello, brilliant soul. For today's episode, I want to delve into a concept that's been dancing in my mind for the last couple of weeks. I've lately been reflecting on how the world around us truly is a mirror that reflects itself to us through the outward manifestation of our beliefs, perceptions, and attitudes. I have recently considered a new name for this energetic phenomenon. And today I want to introduce you to what I'm calling the Walmart effect. I know it may sound simple, perhaps even a little rudimentary, and bear with me because beneath this seemingly trivial analogy lies a profound truth about perception, reality, and our role in shaping both. Walmart can be defined as a sprawling marketplace filled with an endless expanse of aisles that are lined with everything from the mundane to the extraordinary. Groceries, clothing, electronics, toys, and everything in between. Heck, you can even find a sparkly unicorn floaty somewhere in one of those aisles. And if you couldn't, I'd be surprised. Here's the funny thing about Walmart, though. No matter how vast or varied the store may be, your experience of it is dictated by the intention and or the shopping list that you bring with you inside. When you enter Walmart with a specific list, your attention is immediately focused on the items you're seeking. Your mind becomes a filter guiding you toward the exact thing you're deeming important to pursue. You may walk right past the other items that are in plain sight, and because they're not on your unique shopping list, they remain invisible to you. Now, imagine someone else walks into Walmart with an entirely different list. Maybe they're looking for new shoes while you're after household cleaning supplies. They might completely overlook the detergent aisle while being drawn to the shoes that you never even noticed. But here's the truth, their experience does not invalidate yours, nor does yours negate theirs. It's just that both of you were focused on something different. The reality of Walmart is the same for both of you. You are shopping in an endless expanse of possibility. Yet, your individual perceptions create two entirely different experiences. What you notice, what you find, is a direct result of the list you bring along with you. And this is not just true for Walmart. This is also a universal truth and an axiom explaining the mechanism of manifesting. To understand this phenomenon more deeply, let's turn to neuroscience. Specifically, I want to talk about the Reticular Activating System, or RAS for short. The RAS is a system of neurons located at the base of the brain. This system plays a crucial role in how we filter the flood of sensory information that is constantly bombarding us. Our brains are supercomputers that are processing an immense amount of data every second. And without the RAS, we would be inundated, overwhelmed, and unable to focus on any one task that is important to us. In a sense, the RAS has a superpower of making things invisible to you so that you don't get overwhelmed. 
and so that you can stay on course with your life. It's a system that essentially helps you to zero in on what's important to you. It tunes your mind to the things that align with your goals, your desires, as well as, and most importantly, your current thoughts and beliefs that you hold. For instance, if you're thinking about buying a new car, let's say maybe a steel-colored Audi Q5, somehow you'll notice that you start to see that specific type of car everywhere, when before you barely recalled seeing them at all. This is actually a really, really fun thought experiment that you can play with yourself if you want to, but that's maybe an episode for another time. Essentially, what I'm saying is that the more that you focus on something in your mind, the more you'll notice it in your reality. When you walk into any situation, your mind is built to scan for the items on your shopping list. In other words, your mind is essentially dedicated to showing you evidence that reinforces whatever belief you hold to be true. With this, we must consider that if your shopping list is filled with thoughts of limiting and lack-centric beliefs, then that's what your mind will highlight in the aisles of your reality. If your list is filled with possibilities and opportunities, then you'll see your world in a very different light. Something particularly interesting about the RAS is that it seems to not really have the ability to distinguish between what's real And what's imagined. It's a system that is interconnected with several brain regions designed to process sensory information, including emotions and memories. So when we imagine or think about something, our brain activates similar areas as when we are actually experiencing those things in our physical reality. I want to invite you into an example for a moment. I'm going to say a word. And I want you to tune into how your body responds to it. Okay, so the word is lemon. Lemon. A nice, sour, juicy lemon. Notice if your body responds to this word. And if not, I want to invite you to imagine eating a lemon. You've just sliced into it and you are about to touch it to your tongue. And then you do touch it in your mind's eye to your tongue. Chances are you're experiencing an increase of saliva as if you were actually about to touch this lemon to your tongue. The most incredible part about this is that there isn't actually a physical lemon that you're experiencing. This is all happening within your imagination. The same neural pathways involved in tasting, smelling, and seeing the lemon are lighting up as if you are actually tasting and experiencing it. In a sense, the RAS acts as a filter for your conscious awareness, highlighting how your perception informs and creates your reality. Your mind has this incredible capacity to shape what you experience, not by changing the world around you, but by shifting the lens through which you view it. The universe, like Walmart, doesn't just deliver random experiences to you. It reflects your inner shopping list, which is akin to your state of mind, your beliefs, and your focus. So I want you to consider what you have on your shopping list. What are you looking for in this moment of your life? Are you focused on experiencing things positively? Are you yearning for those things that you're wanting? Are you focused on your fear? If so, that's what you'll find in the aisles of your life. Because your RAS will ensure that you find more reasons to be afraid, more evidence of the world's limitations surrounding the specific topic that you're manifesting. It's like saying, I'm looking for one pound bag of fear, please. Check, here it is. The invitation here is to rewrite your shopping list. Look for the joy, the abundance, the miracle of life, and throw in that sparkly unicorn pool floaty just for good measure. If in response to this episode, you're feeling or starting to feel a little nervous about your personal shopping list, 
then I want to invite you to take a pause and a breath for a moment. Even if you've been focused on what you don't want, even if you've been focused on your fears, you have access to recognizing the power that you have at your disposal. You get to change your shopping list at any moment, which means that you can become a conscious creator of your experience at any moment. Your RAS is one of the most incredible manifestation tools in your manifestation tool belt. The real power comes when you choose to observe what's on your list. Allow yourself to notice how your external experiences are shaped and mirrored by your internal ones. The gift of doing this is in recognizing that the more aware you are of your mental and emotional focus, aka your shopping list, the more consciously you can decide what you will experience in your life. So if you're feeling stuck in a particular area of your life, I want to invite you to ask yourself, what am I focusing on? How am I feeling about this? What is on my list? And most importantly, is this a list that is aligned with what I truly desire? Am I looking for proof of scarcity or am I open to seeing the abundance and the opportunities that exist all around me? The simple act of becoming aware of your list is a profound step toward transforming your reality. When you consciously shift your focus to the thing you want to see, you start seeing the beauty and opportunities that are all around you. You get to decide that moving forward means that your list contains those items that align with the life you are creating. And this, my brilliant soul, is where the magic happens. As you shift your focus, your world shifts with you. The more you focus on what you desire, the more your RAS will direct you to the opportunities that align with that vision. The universe is always keen to show you what you're focused on. And the more you align your focus with your dreams, the more you will see those dreams come to fruition as if by magic. You will wonder, how did I get here? How did I accomplish these miracles? Remember, what you see, what you notice, what you focus on is directly tied to the list you're carrying. And you get to decide what's on that list for you. So keep your heart open. Keep your focus anchored on the vision and belief in having your dreams. And trust that you have all of the tools and the ability to curate that shopping list that makes your dream a reality. Until next time.